You can't stop. <laughs> why waste energy? You know, it's why. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So let's start this video with Martin Fitzwater. I think he might be entering this upcoming Romania or Prague because not only did he give a hint in his latest YouTube video, which was taken after the finals of this year's Miss Olympia, which by the way was his Olympia debut, but the fact that he is only up 3 to 5 pounds even a week after this year's Miss Olympia, that is another indication that he has been on a strict regime when it comes to his diet, especially after that first day where he celebrated his phenomenal 4th place finish at Miss Olympia this year. And this is just the beginning, so stay tuned. We might have some plans coming soon. We might be doing a show before you know it, so. And I have got to say, man, if you're impressed with his prejudging look in his hotel room, you will be blown away with how Martin looked just before the finals. He looked drier and way more tighter. And I can totally see why Stefan, his coach, asked him to stop posing because he looked so perfect. And that was undoubtedly the best bodybuilding peak of any men's open class competitor. And I truly feel he deserves the right to be extremely confident going into Miss Olympia 2025. Because if Martin can place fourth at his Olympia debut, beating guys like Andrew Jack, Handel Brother, and so many others, why can't he move up in 2025? So Tal Mannion had nothing but positive things to say about Martin in his breakdown. And his most muscular is one of the most impressive on stage with the muscularity, the conditioning, and the fullness that he displays from top to bottom. I think he announced himself as a dangerous force into the upper echelon here in the Pro League. And he has a very, very exciting future going forward. And he just needs to improve two poses, the back double biceps and the front lat spread. And that improvement is going to come with time. So we are exactly three weeks out of this year's Romania Pro. And if Martin jumps into that one, that is going to be one hand of a queer strategy to secure his Olympia qualifications so early in the season. I don't think he is going to sit out of the season in 2025 and just focus on one show, the Olympia. Based on his response and the way Martin has improved from one show to the next, especially this year, maybe he doesn't need a full year off in order to make some noticeable improvements. So let's see what he has in store for us for 2025. The mutant Nick Walker posted a physique update with this caption. And let me tell you guys, people are not having any of it. I mean, even in his own comment section, I see more and more people calling him out for sitting out of this year's Miss Olympia, apparently for not being in shape. Because the thing is, that is all we know, and people are calling him out like crazy. So Rx Muscle posted the same caption, and even there, people had similar response. Now, I do not disagree with the fact that when Nick Walker fans bring up the statistics, and that is the last time he was on the Olympia stage, he was top three. They get roasted. Because that was two years back. And since that time, Nick Walker lost to Samson Dauda at the Arnold 2023. He narrowly escaped another loss to Martin Fitzwater at this year's New York Pro. And that was actually a very low point in Nick Walker's career. Because that was the moment he kinda lost all of his hype. He lost all his stocks. So we all respect Nick Walker's work ethic. We all get that he is extremely regimented. The man is very dedicated. But the thing is, at the same time, he needs to show up and let his physique do all the talking. Imagine the kind of pressure Nick Walker will have the moment he will announce what show he is going for in 2025. And no, he isn't doing Romania or Prague because that will be a worse decision to make. Because the thing is, he cannot jump into a show so soon after he sat out of this year's Miss Olympia. So what did you guys think? Is the criticism on Nick Walker fair? Or is it getting a bit too extreme? So the news was true. Ramon Dino will waste no time and try to secure his Olympia spot for 2025 this weekend at Brazil Pro. So Ramon made weight and just like Miss Olympia, where he had nothing to hide, he put on a show for the fans here as well, revealing his absolutely ripped legs along with some other athletes. In fact, all of these guys, they went into the pose down. And this is what I like about the shows that are scheduled in Brazil. So Ramon being one of the very best in plastic physics division, he should 100% dominate this competition. In fact, I have to say this is a great chance for him to reestablish his dominance or maybe correct that peaking issue and also take care of all of those mistakes that happened at this past Miss Olympia weekend. 
because the Ramon that we saw last weekend, that was far from his personal best. I mean, the man looked far better at his last Miss Olympia in 2023 than he was second behind Chris Bumstead. So the biggest flaw in Ramon's physique is that he doesn't have a lot of lat birth, especially from the front. Plus, he doesn't have the most sweeping quarts either, especially in comparison to some of the other top guys, like Urs Glashinsky and Mike Sommerfeld, and they really exposed him in that specific aspect at this past Miss Olympia. But that being said, the amount of water that he was holding on the stage and the sweating incident that happened because of that on the stage that will surely be taken care of here at Brazil Pro. So one bad showing, that doesn't mean that the man is done. He is going to be one of the favorites to fight for the Olympia title next year. Even Chris Baumstead himself said the same thing, that he has Romondino winning the Classic Physique Olympia title next year. So it was closer than what we all expected between Chris Baumstead and Mike Sommerfeld. In fact, the Classic Physique breakdown of the Olympia by Tal Mannion, that is a proof right there that nobody has beaten Seabum in that many shots since he became the Classic Physique Olympia champion. So Mike Sommerfeld clearly beat him in that front double biceps and even that back double biceps. That was so damn close between both these amazing athletes. And it was actually a toss up. And after listening to this breakdown, I have got to say that Mike came so close to dethroning Chris Bumstead because the absent type pose, which was once a showstopper for Bumstead, he lost that shot to Mike. Very, very good abs. Very symmetrical, very detailed, very separated. So for me, this was a clear pose for Mike to make this two poses to two. And yes, this will come as a surprise to many people out there because they think Seabum was untouchable in this shot. And this is what I said after the prejudging this year that if Seabum wasn't such a big name, we would not have been this confident that he is going to win this again. And in my opinion, this was the closest pose between these two guys. Upper body wise and back wise, I think Mike had the better back. You saw the thickness, the separation, and the detail. Great arms and shoulders here in this pose. Chris's back has obviously improved over the years, but his width was not as good as Mike's. And also, which has always been something that I thought he could improve, which would be the thickness to his back. So upper body wise, Mike takes the lead here. But now we go down into the lower body, and Chris has tremendous leg width, tremendous detail through the hamstrings. Now he won the favorite classic pose, and that made the score 3 to 2 in favor of Zibam. So Chris Bumstead retired as the GOAT of classic physique, and there will never be another like him, another champion like him. But you cannot ignore the fact that these guys were getting close and close with every passing year, especially in the last two years. So I have got to say this wasn't Chris Bumstead's best ever. And I think most of us will agree that his first prep with Honey Rambot back in 2022, that was without a shadow of a doubt, his best physique ever. So this breakdown really puts Mike Sommerfield in the spotlight, in the driving seat for the Olympia 2025. Because no one has ever been this successful in pushing Chris Bumstead, even Ramondino last year. So he is already back in the gym. Hungry to make some very noticeable improvements and glad to see he's confident that he is now being chased by everyone. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.